In this lesson in logic, we will explore statements involving quantifiers. What exactly is a quantifier? How do we deal with quantifiers logically? All of those questions are going to be answered shortly. To discuss quantifiers, let's look at a few of my favorite things. You may have noticed that they're all wine. Please don't judge me. Anyway, looking at all of the wine on this particular page, is there a statement that we can make about all of the wine? A statement involving all objects in a particular set contains a universal quantifier and uses terminology like every, for all, or for each. For example, every wine on this page is in a glass bottle. If you think you can make up other statements involving universal quantifiers, feel free to add them below in the comments to help out other students. Again, looking at all of the wine on this particular page, is there a statement that we could make about one or more of the wines? A statement involving one or more of the objects in a particular set contains an existential quantifier and uses terminology like there exists or at least one. For example, there exists a white wine on this page. In fact, there are two. Once again, feel free to add any other statements involving existential quantifiers below in the comments to help out other students. This page here summarizes the two quantifiers that we discussed on the last two pages. Existential quantifiers, which make reference to at least one object in the set, and universal quantifiers, which make reference to all objects in the set. One thing we may be interested in doing is negating a statement involving a quantifier. Our statement involving a universal quantifier from before was every wine on this page is in a glass bottle. This statement is true. We could go through each of these bottles one by one and note that each wine is indeed in a glass bottle. How do we logically negate this statement, though? Well, since our claim is about all of the wine being in glass bottles, to negate it we would require a claim about at least one wine not being in a glass bottle. For example, at least one of the wines on this page is not in a glass bottle. Take a moment to show yourself that this negated statement is indeed false. Notice that to negate a statement involving a universal quantifier, or UQ, we needed a statement that contained an existential quantifier, or an EQ. In addition to this, our negated statement also needed to use the word not. Our statement involving an existential quantifier from before was there exists a white wine on this page. This statement is true. There are actually two white wines on this page. So how do we logically negate this statement? Well, since our claim is about one or more of the wines being white, to negate it we would require a claim about every wine being not white. For example, every wine on this page is not white. Take a moment to show yourself that this negated statement is indeed false. Notice that to negate a statement that contains an existential quantifier, we required a statement that contained a universal quantifier. In addition to this, our negated statement needed to use the word not. This last page is a quick summary for negation of quantifiers. To negate a statement using a universal quantifier, we want a statement using an existential quantifier. This means a phrase like every is going to change to something like there exists. To negate a statement involving an existential quantifier, use a statement involving a universal quantifier. This means a phrase like at least one is going to change to something like for all.
All right, my little epsilons, stay positive.